all right so uh, this is very important update so yes time so our job is to keep you entertained yeah and get what i'm saying so remember how we talked about sharon ifedi destiny tipo and zobi michael you understand two of them dragging zobi michael the you know is in that himself you understand the richest actor in africa so there is a battle between sharon and destiny tiko so to the extent that destiny tiko's best friend evan okoro came out to you know to address the public you understand so he, she said that children of nowadays doesn't have you know a uh, respect for their elders you understand i'm sure this is as a result of what uh, sharon ife said after zubi michael bought a car for destiny ethical ahead of her birthday you understand so now listen this matter is too funny and it's getting so interesting at the same time you understand so i'm sure uh, Zubi Michael and Sharon Fidel have been trying to establish a very strong relationship. But remember, Destiny Tiko came into the picture first before Sharon Ifeidi. You understand? So that is what a lot of people have been saying. That Destiny Tiko was there before Sharon Ifeidi. So why should uh, Sharon Ifeidi want Destiny Tiko to stay away from Destiny, you know, from Zubi Michael? That it is not possible. Both of them started their relationship. Yes, I mean, I'm sure some of you don't really know this that Zuri Michael and Descent could they, they were in a relationship before, but as it stands now, I think they had issue before. You understand? Now, Descent could receive a car gift from Zubi, and that is why sharon if it is i think she's not really happy i think i'm not really sure you understand i think she's not really happy about that so that is why that's what started this whole thing you understand so i you know i want to say this again and i also want to talk about what people out there has been saying about sharon if it has be you know they are all she sharon if it is fast all over the world they have been warning her to stay away from Zubi Maka. Zubi Maka is not a kind of person that you give your heart to. You understand? I'm sure this is as a result of what Zubi Maka said during the interview. He said that he doesn't have time for women, that he's focusing in his career. You understand? So, and since all this has been happening, Zubi have not come out to say that Sharon Ifeid is my fiance or my girlfriend or my wife or whatever. You understand? To address the public. I get what I'm saying. So I think my advice to Sharon Ife is, you know, considering her age, I think she's not supposed to be seen on, on internet talking about men, dragging men and all that. You understand? I think that is going to degrade, that is going to tarnish her. I mean, that is going to disrespect her. You understand? What she should be focusing now is her career to continue building her career in a movie industry which she has already started you understand so i am not blaming uh, destiny to go or anybody for throwing shade at uh, sharon ifaid you understand you know relationship is all about competition you understand relationship is all about competition and the winner will be announced in the church you are attacking your friend because of a man you are you are making the worst mistake of your life you understand a man always goes to where his heart belongs if it's his destiny to go down to be michael want i think there is nothing shadow if he can do to stop him if it's shadow if he that be michael well, there is nothing destiny can do to stop him you understand men always know where their heart belongs forget sometimes they might be acting so confusing but they really know where they really know what they want. You understand? Zuri Michael is not this kind of person that I'm not seeing him as somebody that's ready for a serious relationship now. Sometimes we see him with Sharon Ife and all that. You know, they are just maybe they are just having fun. Yes, there is nothing too serious attached to it. You understand? Or maybe Sharon Ife has started developing feelings for him, but 
I'm not saying Zubi from my own observation. I'm not saying Zubi as somebody that is ready for a, a serious relationship now. You understand? Because there's a lot of women around him. There's millions of women around him. You understand? So, this is my own opinion about this issue. You know, she's not afraid of attacking Destiny because it's the worst mistake that she's doing. And if Destiny is attacking Sharon, that is the worst mistake that she's doing. You understand? A, a responsible and, uh, you know, educated girl shouldn't be fighting over a man. A man is not something that you should, should be fighting for. You understand? Men who always go to where his heart belongs. If you're fighting a man, okay, definitely you win your second. Do you really know that another person might fight with you and still win, win you and take him away from you? Allow that man to make his choice. Relationship is not about competition. And the winner will be announced in the church. The one that is serious. If if Zubi Mike is serious, I believe that he's going to make his choice. You understand? Some men are really funny, you know. They'll be watching two girls fighting over him and you just be laughing and all that. So inside him he doesn't even have you know time, he doesn't even have any feeling for both of them, and you guys are there fighting. You know, fighting over a man is the worst thing that you as a woman do i'm not only sending this message to destiny to go or sharon is to still i'm going to extend it to people out there because this is what i've been happening between two friends fighting over a man and all that any man that he fought and win trust me another person is going to come and fight and probably the person is going to win you you understand if you should fight over a man and maybe you win your second you have the man yes but remember another person will still come and fight with you and there is every possibility that the person is going to win you so and now a man to make his choice so the point i'm trying to make is that zuri michael is an adult and he knows exactly what he wants he knows the kind of woman that he wants to spend the rest of his life with if it is sharon he fate there is nothing you and i can do about it if it's destiny there is nothing you and i can also do about it you understand there's no need of fighting there's no need of uh, making social media noise and all that because of a man and all that so let's just you know forget about uh zuby mike and uh, sharon is in a serious relationship and all that so me i don't really believe that zuby michael he have time for women for now you understand that is my own observation if you should ask me and again destiny was there before sharon he faded you understand that is your seat all right so please my good people please i would like you to drop your comment react to this tell us what you think about this issue are you to blame destiny etuko or sharon ifade please your opinion is littered like i said polite comment you can actually pass a message without you know insulting anybody or without saying anything that is not good just pass your message and drop your comment thank you and god bless you all right keep watching